Hey, how you doing, everybody? I'm Lex Lang. We're here at the Gamers Expo Sacramento. Sac, Sac Gamers Expo, is that what they call it? Yeah, that's what it's called. Something like that. It's a lot of fun. Loving it. Enjoying it. It's my first year here. It's a one-day event. And uh, welcome to my panel. And uh, we're going to be answering just a few questions. Someone just asked, uh, how did I break into the business? Hello. Or what got me into the business? And so, um, I, you know, it's voice acting. And so anyone who does voice acting usually comes from an acting background of some kind. Um, that's what it was for me. Hey, come on in. Join the party. And um, I started uh, just doing acting, regular acting, when I was a kid um, in grade school. And then in, in high school, I was in theater, like in the theater department, like in all the shows that was going on drama class and stuff. And then when I got out of high school, I went to college. During that time, I was in all of their shows, theater shows. And I, don't know, I think I was like 22 years old. I, a friend of mine told me about a music school in Los Angeles called the Musicians Institute. So I um, applied for a grant and I got a full scholarship to the Musicians, Inst uh, Musicians Institute as a guitar player. So I went there for a year and then I started doing a little on camera work because I was living in Los Angeles. So I worked on a couple of different movies, and um, one of the movies I was brought in for from the Musicians Institute was this movie called Rich Girl. It's still out there somewhere. <laughs> but they, it was about a, a girl who joined a band, and they wanted the band members to look like they could actually play instruments. So what they did <clears throat> was they hired people from, from uh, the Musicians Institute to go to the they hired me from the Musicians Institute to go to the set and show the actors how to look like they could play guitar. And so while I was doing that, the, the casting director said, hey, are you an actor? And I said, I am. And he said, you, wanna, you want this part to be yours? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'd love to play in this movie. So they made me the lead guitar player of the band that was in the movie. And they made the guy who was supposed to be playing the guitar a keyboard player a lot easier to make. <laughs> and that's kind of how um, I met a guy named this guy named Bentley Mitchum, who was Robert Mitchum's grandson. Robert Mitchum's this real famous actor from like the 50s. <clears throat> and then he, he and I became friends, and he was in a, on a movie called Suzy Q, which was up in uh, Canada, with Amy Jo Johnson, who used to play the Kimberly and the Power Rangers. So they were up there shooting that movie, and I went up to visit my friend, Bentley. And while I was up there, we all went to dinner, and as we were walking back, I started doing some of these impressions that I do part of like a comedy act I had. And she said, you'd be a great voice actor. And I was like, what do you mean? Like commercials and cartoons? I don't really hear many voices in Tom and Jerry, you know what I mean? It's like cartoons. And she said, no, they do all kinds of stuff. I work on Power Rangers and, and there's all kinds, there's this thing called a Walla Group, which is all the people in the background of a, of a show. <laughs> so she introduced me to a guy named Scott Pactor and he said, I'll give you a shot, kid. And he put me in the Walla Group. And uh, I did Walla on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. That was my first job ever. And then from there, I got to audition for Power Rangers Turbo. And I played this character named Rygog. And I also played a character named Larigo there. <laughs> and because I could do impersonations and make my voice sound like other people, <clears throat> I started doing what they call celebrity voice matching for movies. So like the movie Lost in Space, for example, they did a remake of it, I don't know, about 10 years ago uh, with Matt LeBlanc and uh, a bunch of other people, William Hurt and things. <clears throat> and William Hurt went out of town to a, an ashram in the Himalayas and was like off the grid before they finished doing all their dialogue replacement at the end of the movie. So they had an audition. I auditioned with 50 other people to sound like William Hurt and I ended up getting the part. <clears throat> so I did if you ever watch that movie, we joke at my house, we call it Lex in Space because I'm so many different people in that movie. I, I revoiced three different characters, plus I did 38 lines for William Hurt and Gary Oldman, and I'm the creature, there's a spider creature that happens in the movie. I'm that spider creature. So that was kind of a long-winded version of how I got started. <laughs> it was through being an actor, it was through meeting my friend, it was through Amy Jo Johnson and Power Rangers. 